Eiffel. London, 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 London. Eiffel. London, London, London. My name's Coogan Cassius, this is I from London, we're at the Peacock Gym, we're here, I've got a 6 foot 8 Enzo Calzaghi, how are you sir? Me, 6 foot 7. Sorry, 6 foot 7, it's all about the extra inch. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen it yet, <laughs> for fuck's sake. <laughs> um, your namesake, Enzo Macronelli, making his debut at light heavyweight, been out of the ring for a year, what sort of condition is he? He looked in fantastic condition on the scales, Enzo. Super condition, yeah. super, I mean, he, uh, at the end of the day, he never cuts corners. Not something about Enzo, it's something that he's very, you know, professional in what he does. And um, he'd been on more or less the same weight for at least three or four weeks, which is ideal. You know, it's one of these trying to come down for two stone heavier. He actually got what I call um, the leanness that required for, for the night. Um, he said to me in an interview that it was always his plan to come back. Um, did you see it like that? He was always going to come back into the game? Well, yeah, certainly, yeah, but we had talked about probably a year ago after just seeing Cody get into each other and say hello, that type of thing. And I said, from day one, I said, he is not a cruiserweight. That's my opinion, mine. Not my opinion, not his. My opinion, as far as I can know, I value, I value people and know exactly what their weights are, what they should be. Because if you look at Joe, you take Joe for instance, right? Joe, I've been training Joe for many professional. He was always true stone heavier the natural weight. It's always been that way. Always the beginning, you know, not the beginning, really the very beginning, but later on, as one start winning more titles, he's getting the four stone, 14 stone and a half. He walks to 15 stone once, and he gets down to 12 stone. So it's called lots of fucking hard work. If you're not prepared to do it, forget about it, right? Why must you run once a day? Why? And then you go to North, North Shore, Peacock Gym, for argument's sake, right? Because no, there's no way it runs or whatever we call it. You go and run again. You eat your food and you go for another run. So that's what's called hard, hard work. And that's basically what I emphasize to Enzo. That basically, if he does the hard work, he can get down to light heavyweight, which is no problem whatsoever. Look, at it, lean. He looks like a machine in there now, right? And there's nothing there whatsoever that says, well, he could lose out of it and it's lose out on it. It didn't. So I think he'd done the right choice, a good conversation about it together. I think personally, but um, he's happy about what I'm happy about is in going back into the style we originally was. Okay? He went to style, we did our style, going back years and years from the first Dominguez fight all the way to Brainweight. The style is unique. Your style that we do, you look at take Gavin Reese, when he boxed by the Mumba, Solomon Mumbao, it's called punches, punches, and punches. Now that's my attitude. It worked for Joe, it worked for Bag Lenza McAnally. And also, um, um, Nathan Cleverly, punches in bunches, Gavin Reese, all world champions. So he lost that part there, I believe. He lost that part in the last year or so. So now I think when he was training, he was just enjoying it again. He was happy to throw the punches in bunches, the combination we throw. And he really, I'll tell you, I think if he can perform in half way that he performs in training, the way we're doing it, it is a no brainer. When that belt goes, our job's been done. But I got confident that he is going to be spot on tonight and really develop a, a deliver a fucking good, good fucking short fight. Sorry about the swearing, so fuck it. Just finally. Martin! I wasn't me swearing, it was Enzo. <laughs> you just can't make this stuff up. Enzo, just finally, how strong a possibility do you think of an all Welsh showdown between uh, Enzo and Nathan Cleverly could be? I've trained them both. And I don't like them both. There's no question about it. But in business ways, it's a different cup of tea. Business ways, I think it's been a fantastic fight for the, for the Welsh. Welsh, and uh, been a fantastic fight for Britain. But at the end of the day, you know, it's something, do I really want? Will it put you in a predicament? <sighs> Listen, I've got to do a job. i got to do a job. His father, Vince, you know, which I, he's under my intuition as well. He's got to do a job. And then they, I know, deep in my heart how it's going to go I do know you won't ask me why I do know I train them both and I keep my opinions to myself but it's a it good good fight that'll be a fantastic fight for the public it's better for the fighters alright Wayne so thank you very much for talking to I from London you're one crazy man
Well, I'm crazy. I'm honest, mate. Go honest ahead. and crazy. You know, crazy Dangerous. and honest. Then. And I don't give a fuck whoever thinks. thinks. Ah, fuck yeah. <laughs> this is Coogan Cassius with Enzo Calzaghi for right. iFilm London. Thank Enzo you very much. Man. That's the man. That's the man. Okay, I'm Enzo Calzaghi, and you're watching iFilm London. And if you want to buy my um, my film, it ain't out yet. <laughs> I feel blonde, blonde, blonde. I feel blonde, blonde, blonde. I feel.